meant to be it wouldn't be any other different if it wasn't for november so i don't have any november joke but uh sometimes the the blokes like to grow their mustache uh, for november but i think uh it's a, que a question of preference so if you have a block um, i want you to grab it and we're gonna explore with block have your block handy I always have mine stacked here and also have a strap handy if you have a strap so I like to also keep everything very handy because I practice and practice and practice and practice so I've gotten a lot of requests but can I use a prop of course you can um, it's a question of preference um, if you have it, why not? So if you don't have a scarf, you can simply grab an old scarf, um, a necktie for the blokes, and um, we begin. All right. We begin in easy pose. This time I want you to, <clears throat> my apologies, bring your knees together and allow your heels yeah, and just go under and push your heels together. The heels will do what it wants to do. But not only that, this warms up our calf, it also warms up our shin and heels and ankles. Allow yourself to sit here and allow yourself to find your breath. The breath is so important equally. And allow yourself to relax the shoulder. I'll turn around to face you. Um, bring the middle finger um, back in and bring your thumb to catch the, catch the nose. We're going to do alternate nostril breathing and bring your index finger down. Bring your ring finger and this is going to close off the left nostril. So you're going to inhale from the right. Notice how I release my, almost like you're giving me a shaka. Shaka bit with the ring finger and the thumb. Yeah So it's important to really cultivate that breath. So sometimes when you put your hands Underneath your nose if you're not breathing I'm talking you will notice one side of the Nostril is a bit more dominant. So just take a breath here Where are you blowing the, the air more the key is the equilibrium of the right and the left almost the right and the left ventricle if you know anything about the heart the cardiovascular most um, system so just really connect again all right so you're gonna bring your thumb and your ring finger close off the right nostril breathe from the left Close off the left and breathe from the right. Close off the right, breathe from the left, close off the left, breathe from the right. Okay, without guidance, close right, close left release from the right all right so this is one variation the other variation is you're gonna breathe from the right close both nostrils release from the left close both nostrils as you breathe in from the left release from the right it's hard to do it while you're talking so try to observe and just go with your instinct your intuition notice how when you're sitting on your heels this might be less problematic because you're focusing on your breath
All right, open your eyes, and we're gonna come into child's pose. This will be an hour of power yoga. Allow your hip to reach towards the heels and reach the hands forward. Lengthen the spine, reach the hands all the way forward. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, snake your body forward and come into Cobra. Allow yourself to push into your hands and bend the elbow and relax the shoulder away from the ears. Inhale, push the hips back into that lovely child's pose. Inhale, snake your chest in between the hands into your cobra, lengthening the spine. Exhale, bring the hip towards the heels, knee can be together or further apart. Relax the head and shoulder. Inhale, snake your body forward and come into cobra. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, press the hips back towards the heels. Child's pose. Walk the hands to the right side. Noticing how karma you feel. Lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulder. From here, the left hand is going to stay on the mat. Take the right hand all the way up. Notice your breath. Release your shoulder and head. Exhale, bring the right hand down towards that right side. And then walk your hands to the left. Push your hip to the heels. Lengthen. And then this time, the left hand is going to reach up towards the sky. Push into that right hand. Feel your shoulder. Exhale, release the left hand. Inhale, slowly press yourself into tabletop position. Finding that length, adjusting your knee underneath the hip. Cat and cow, lift the chest, look up. Finding your breath. Exhale, press towards the heels. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, round the back and push your hip towards the heels. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the back. Hip to heels. Inhale, lift the chest, exaggerating the pose. Round in the back. Hip to heels. Once more. Inhale. Exhale, rounding, hip to heels with the back rounded. Inhale, neutral spine, lift the knee, and then walk your legs towards your hands. Right away, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Class opposite elbow, relax the head, yes or no. Inhale, elbows are clasped. Notice which one is on top. My is the right, lengthen the spine, take a breath in, charge into the core, and come halfway. So the bicep is close to the ears, lengthen the spine, breathe in, bend the knee a little bit generously, imagine as if you were in that chi, chi chair rather, not chi, and belly comes towards the thigh. Take a breath in, push the hips back, exhale, fold forward, relax the head. Straighten the leg, breathe in, inhale, come halfway, and then lengthen the spine, tuck that tailbone under, take a breath in, and make your way all the way up, elbow press into the sky, notice your breath, now press and lift the sternum, straighten the legs, look up towards the sky, exhale, hinge from the hip, bend the knee, come into that flat back. Taking a big breath, elongate your forearm forward, push the heels down, exhale, release. <sighs> Unclasp the elbow, change the cross of the arms. Maybe the left hand comes on top, of, on top, right hand underneath, lengthen, draw your forearm towards the mat. Now straighten the legs, breathe in and out, roll forward and back, maybe lifting the heels. Inhale, halfway. Take a breath. Exhale, fold. Sway from side to side. This should feel good on your lower back. Now inhale, charge back in. Come halfway. 
and then bend the knee, bringing the belly towards the thigh. Relax the shoulder. Inhale, make your way all the way up. Look up, eyes open. Exhale, release the hands and look forward. Allow your chin to release, hands by the side. Left hand down, right hand reach across. So we're still on the warm up phase. Pushing into that right leg. Lengthen, exhale, bring the right hand down and take the left hand across, palm facing the earth. Breathe in and out. Inhale, release the left hand. Charge the right hand back towards the left. Push the hip, open the heart. Your right heel wants to lift, but you're pressing that right foot down. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Take the left hand across, push the right hip to the left. Oh, great stretch. Breathing through those belly muscles and open the heart as you bring the left hand down. So I'll turn around and face you. Bring the left hand down. And I want you now to pivot all the way to the left side and lift the right foot off the mat. Notice your breath as I look. Open the heart, lift, 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 lift right leg down right hand down i want you to find that right hip straighten both legs left hand reach across park face in the earth take a breather and lift the left foot off the mat point toes flex toes lift 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 inner thigh is feeling it exhale come back down all right we only have the front and back to do now inhale reach the hands all the way up Bring the hands to your lower back. That way you're not shocking your back. Push the hip forward. Start to look forward. And then lift the head and look up. And then open the heart. Straighten the legs. Don't lock out the knee. Breathe in. Look forward. Take the nose up to the sky. And then come down and fold. <sighs> Inhale. Reach the hands all the way up. We're still warming up. Exhale, bring the legs together, forward fold. So on salutation A, inhale, look forward, lengthen, step right leg back, left leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knee, gaze between the hands, step or jump forward. Nothing wrong with stepping. Look forward, lengthen, fly that flat back, exhale, forward fold. We get a chance to do at least three variations. This is first variation, and then exhale, fold. Relax the back of the neck. It's equally important to breathe in. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, look up. Finding that breath, exhale, hands in front of the heart. Today's practice, I want you to find humility in your practice. So, allowing yourself to stand tall and allow yourself to reflect in this word, humility, humility. All right, take a breath in, inhale, reach the hands all the way up, open the heart, lengthen the heels are coming down, straighten the legs, hug those kneecap towards the upper body, exhale, trace the midline, forward fold. Now, remember we stepped in the first variation, this time step the right leg back. You might not think it's a different variation, but you're stepping, but you're strengthening that right leg. You're going to step the left leg back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, roll forward into your plank, pushing into the thumb and index finger, spreading all five fingers. Lengthen the spine, exhale, lower elbow, hug the rib cage, lean forward, upward facing dog, or equally cobra, elbow is bent. Lengthen, look up. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. So notice your breath, breathe in, breathe out. We step back with our right leg. This time we're gonna step forward with our right leg, still that second variation. And then the left leg is gonna stretch out for a moment, breathe into it, lengthen the spine, and the left leg is gonna meet with the right. Look forward, lengthen, exhale, Hold forward, release the back of the knee. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Look up, hands circle back in front of the heart. 
Sama Stiti He. Lengthen the spine, feeling that warm, straight at the legs, shoulder away from the ears. Inhale, hands reach up, look up. Extend and mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Finding that length. This time, look forward, lengthen. Bend the knee generously. Thighs come towards the knee. Plant the hands on the mat. The hands become your new leg. Step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. This time, we're jumping back, floating back. Upward facing dog or cobra. You will hear me say or. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. So taking a big breath in, we're gonna do it one more time. Finding that length, hollow the belly in, and then bend the knee. Gaze towards where you want to go to. Lengthen the, the spine, and then step or jump back. Jump forward, rather. Look forward, lengthen, exhale, fold. It gets easier with time. Release the back of the neck, inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands in front of the heart. That was Surya Namaskar A. Bend the knees, Surya Namaskar B. Chair pose, Ukatasana. Sitting in that imaginary chair, big toes touching, knees touching. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Straighten that back of the legs, turn the hamstring on, lengthen, draw the belly in, head towards the toes. One day you will come. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, find that flat back. Bend the knee. Remember, step, jump, walk, crawl back if you like. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Top of the legs on the mat. Gaze is up or forward. Back of the neck is long. Press back. Downward facing dog. Ashtanga style. We're going to bring the left leg flat on the mat. 45 degrees. Step the right leg in between the hand and rise. Warrior one. Open the heart, look up, finding that breath, shoulder away from the ears, engage your core, rib cage in, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the mat, step the right leg back, downward facing dog, noticing your thumb and index finger. Roll forward into plank and lean forward, elbow hug the rib cage, upward facing dog, top of the legs on the mat, lengthen through the back thighs, exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Excellent work, you got the drill now, right leg 45 degrees on the mat, left leg in between the hand, inhale, rise. Warrior one, Vidra Vidrasana Uno, bend the left leg. Push the right leg and square the hip. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, soften your toes. Push on the outer edge of that right leg. Right hip comes forward and lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Finding that shoulder. Exhale the hands to the mat. Step the left leg back. Press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Elbow hug the rib cage, lean forward. You can always drop your knee, upward facing. Top of the legs on the mat, lengthen the thighs by lifting the upper thighs. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe in here, five breaths. Again, an opportunity to practice your breathing. The pranayama, the element of breathing in and out of the nostril to quiet the mind. Breath is constant. Inhale, bend the knee, gaze between the hand. Again, with intention, step or jump forward. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the head and shoulder and breathe into the back of that thighs as you straighten the legs. 
Continue breathing here. A little bit of blood rush towards the head. Bend the knee. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Finding that breath. Hugging those knee. Belly pose in. Body is upright. Stand up. Mountain pose. Take a breath. Shoulder away from the ears. Once more, bend knee, chair pose a little bit faster. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, forward looking. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat. Step, jump back, chaturanga. Dandasana, lean forward. Upward facing. Downward facing. We start on the left side. Right leg 45, left leg in between the hand, rise, warrior one, open, exhale, the hands to the mat, step left leg back, downward dog, inhale, forward plank, lean forward, yogi push up, upward facing dog, press back, downward facing, left leg 45, right leg in between the hand, rise, warrior one, Notice your breath has it change. Exhale the hands to the mat. Step right leg back. Downward dog. Forward into plank right away. Lean forward. Yogi push up. Elbow hug the rib cage. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe. One. Finding that exhale. Inhale, exhale to complete, bend the knee, gaze between the hands, step, jump forward, look forward, lengthen, flat back, exhale, forward fold, your big toes are touching, relax the head, release any tension on the back of the neck, bend the knee, chair pose, Ukatasana. movement is life. Movement is life. When you're moving, you're just really releasing any tension in the body. You're stretching out the body. Find that length and rise. Mountain pose. Just really connecting with yourself. Take a breath in. So the sun salutation is a great way to warm up. You might feel a little bit warm. You can see a little bit of sweat on me as well. So I've been turning on the uh, garment to really tell us, uh, of course I didn't turn it on because I don't usually use it for yoga, to tell us how, how are we doing? How is our heart rate? All right, bend the knee, chair pose, Ukatasana, 30 minutes in. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. And in that breath, step the right leg back. The left hand reach up, open the heart. Just notice your breath. So a lot of these poses we've been doing, but I add a lot to it. Take a breath in. We're going to take the left leg back towards the right leg and come into wild thing. Open the heart. You got it. So take your time, however much you need to bend, but don't break. And allow yourself to breathe into those front hip. The left hand is going to reach towards the right toes. You're going to bring the bum seat down and reach towards the right toes. And the right hand is going to reach back. And I want you to gaze to the front of that, to front of the mat now, which my front was, to your right hand. Breathe in, breathe out. From here, the right hand is going to come outside of the left foot as you hug the left foot in and bring the right elbow outside of the left and take a nice twist and still look forward. Open through the back muscles. Notice your breath. You can micro bend the elbow, lift the chest, look up, take a breath in, inhale, reach both hands all the way to the sky, right hand comes back down, inhale, point the right toes and lift back into that wild thing, open the heart, remember your breath. Now from here, kick the left leg up as it's bent to the sky, maybe. Now listen to your body, I'm a little bit slippery and sliding. I want you to straighten the left leg. And notice the intention here. Breathe in and breathe out. Maybe straighten the left leg as well. Exhale, the left leg comes to the right hand. We return back into that runner's twist. 
Notice your breath, re-extend that right leg, take a breath in, unravel yourself into your warrior two, finding your breath, right hand reach forward, left hand reach back, open the heart, allow the left knee to be bent, take a breath, inhale, unravel yourself, warrior two, so I promise that we will use the block, the left hand can come on the mat, outside of the left foot, or you can hop your left leg to one of your block, then inhale, lift the right leg up, and come into your half moon. So you don't need the block to be quite honest. I want you to balance, find that balance, and breathe in. Activate the right leg, and take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Continue to breathe here, extend the left leg, and then bend the right leg. We have a strap. If you need the strap, I want you to use it. You're gonna hook that strap on your right foot. I'm gonna use my right hand. The strap is a bit too long for me. Lengthen and bring your right heel towards your bum C as you kick the right leg up. Equal movement in both directions. As you kick, you hug in. As you kick, you hug in. Lengthen the spine, open that hip. Exhale, bring the right leg to meet with the left. Bend the knee, pick up your block. If you have it, if not, it's okay. And the block comes in between the hand. Notice your breath, I want you to bend the elbow and straighten out the elbow. Take a breath in. The block is gonna reach forward. I'm gonna make a little bit of room here. And extend the left leg back. And just flatten out your back. You can bring that block behind you and just see how flatter your, your back is. Or you can hold it in between the hand, being honest with your shoulder. Breathe in, straighten the right leg, bring the left leg to meet with the right. Reach those hands all the way to the sky. Hug the knee, heels are down, elbow bent. Just releasing any tension there. Notice your, your elbow is pointing to the sky. It's also a lovely pose. Take a big breath in, lean forward and pick the right leg up this time, stretch out. Notice your right foot. Now that right hand is gonna come down on the mat and take the left hand up. Notice your breath, a lot of movement here. Breathe in, more kick the right leg back, more lengthen. Exhale, bring your right leg to meet with the left. Bend the knee and return back into that lovely chair. Finding that breath, exhale, forward fold. Release the block, enjoy your forward fold, and release everywhere. Look forward, lengthen, find that flat back. Bend the knee, step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, top of the legs on the mat. Press back downward facing dog allow yourself to enjoy breathe in breathe out again inhale exhale inhale bring the right leg in between the hand and float the right hand to the sky take your runner's twist open feel that body feel that mind Notice your breath, lengthen, release, and then from here you're going to pick the right leg back towards the left and come into wild thing. The left leg is straight, pointing and lifting the right hand up. Each side is going to be different, so remind yourself, bring that game face on. Everything starts with the mind, yeah? And you're going to lift the right leg up, start with lifting it up. And then eventually, maybe the right leg is straight, maybe the left leg is straight. Notice your breath, notice your shoulder. Breathe in, breathe out, bring that right leg back down. Reach your right hand towards your left foot. All right, catch your foot or use a strap and the left hand is gonna go back. Notice your body. Lengthen the spine, shoulder away from the ears. Each side will feel different. And then inhale, reach the hands all the way up. 
and really adjust it if you need to be back in your mat. And then bring the right hand behind you, the left elbow outside of the right knee, and then twist. If you find that to go, just go to where you are comfortable, finding that length, drawing that right shoulder away from the ears. Such a great pose, this twist. So as your body, your knee hugs in, it massages the internal organ, but it releases the tension on your lower back. Inhale, unravel the hands, reach up. The left hand comes back forward. Then inhale, lifting back up into that wild thing. All right, adjusting, don't have much space here. And then can you lift the right leg up second time? All right, right knee is hugging in. We all struggle, tap the right knee, so okay? Right leg to the right hand, and rise up, warrior two. Vidra Bhadrasana two. Allow yourself to tap the shoulder, release any tension here. Couple of time, taking a breath, tap the shoulder, and then come into your peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. Open the heart, lengthen the spine. Come back into that warrior two, and this time bring the right hand down you can come into your block or no block. Outside of the right foot, inhale, lift the left leg up. And charge into that right foot, charge into the left leg, and come into half moon. So noticing whether you're still breathing in and out. So the gaze is forward. Find a drishti. Drishti is the focal point. The focal point, that way you're not wibbling, wobbling, and dancing around, especially when there's a moving object around you. Bend the left leg and catch the left ankle or left foot. You can also throw a strap or a scarf or a necktie, just opening the hip. More charge into that right hip, more straighten the right leg. It's okay. If you fall out, just come back in. Remember, don't force anything. Bring the left leg to meet with the right, and we bend the knee, we pick up our block, come into that lovely chair pose with the block. Taking a breath here, I want you to reach the block forward and sit back into the imaginary chair. Think as if there's a chair right behind you. Hugging the knee, drawing the belly in. Now inhale, charge in and lean forward and lift the right leg up. Notice your breath. We're going to go in for it. The block is going to come down on the outside of the left foot. Use your hand. Flatten out your back body. Yeah? And push that right leg back. We're going to take that reverse twit. Reverse half moon right away. Noticing your right foot in space. Lengthen the spine if you fall. Come back. And it's a quite challenging pose. Because your lower back is flat. Your right leg is pushing back. Your shoulder is like, ah, oh, eh, ooh. All right, <laughs> I've fallen out from it like I intended because I was not looking at my drishti. Bring the right leg to me with the left, pick up the block again into that lovely chair. And then stand up. Bring the block right behind your shoulder. And then press the elbow and look up. Notice your breath, notice your back body. Straighten the arm and then bend the knee and come into that modified chair. Elbow is bent with the block, no block, and then straighten out. Again, elbow bent, feel those triceps and then straighten the arm. Elbow bent, finding that breath, straighten the arm. Two more like this, the one. Breathe in, a two, exhale. Inhale. Now, reach forward. This time, the right leg is going to stay. And then lift the left leg up. Remember the option to bring the block, as I wobble, on your lower back. Flatten out your back. You can continue to reach the hands forward. Now you can bring the hand in Namaskar. Continue to point those toes back, lengthen. Feel your back body and then bring that knee to me, left leg to me with the right, pick up the block, come back into your modified chair. Lengthen the spine, 
then exhale forward fold release the block on the mat look forward lengthen find that flat back step or jump back chaturanga dandasana upward facing dog press back downward facing dog taking a big breath in we're still moving we still got plenty of time take the left leg up left leg in between the hand rise up into your airplane pose finding breath shoulder away from the ears right leg meets with the left taking a breath in and bring the left knee in start with the left knee maybe you hold the wall it's, it's some days things are moving and that's the life that we have so just hold the knee and take the left hand back that's option one I promise to use the strap to demo so I always have my strap hooked into one into the two holes and then off one yeah all right two if you need a strap if not nothing no problem all right you're gonna bring the ball of the foot on that strap I find that it's harder to use the strap than to use my hand all right Taking a big breath in, the left hand reach back, straighten the left leg. The good thing with the strap is you know that your legs is hooked, but if you fall, just be kind to your body and fall safe. So drop in that hip, straighten the right leg, lengthen the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Shoulder away from the ears. Again, find that focal point. Bring your left hand to your left foot and take a breath in and open that left leg straighten the right leg you can hold the wall if you're close to a wall or a window like i am breathe in and out bring the left foot forward and now release the strap but you have the strap on your foot you release the left hand from the left foot and i want you to bend the left leg bend the knee Think as if it's your backpack. If you don't need the strap, you can easily lose the strap. You're gonna bring, walk your hands and start to walk the strap. As you lengthen, kick up, a modified dancer's pose. Open, kick the leg up. It's a great stretch. So again, it's a dancer's pose. You can, I'll do it without the strap because the strap is quite long for me. And then inhale, kick up. I find that strap is great when I'm not teaching so much that I'm able to find my drishti. But it's also equally good. Let me know which one do you like. Left leg meets with the right. Release. The good thing is the strap is nearby, so you can always use that. Bend the knee back into chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Release everywhere. Look forward, lengthen, say vinyasa. Step back, jump back, chaturanga, dandasana. Upward facing dog. Press back, downward facing dog. Taking a big breath in, bend the knee, gaze between the hand. Step forward, jump forward. Look forward, lengthen. How loud can that be? Forward fold. Bend the knee, chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale, rise up with the right knee in. Remember that option? Left hand holds the right knee, right hand goes back. Again, nothing wrong with this. Without the strap, you catch your right foot. With the strap, you use the strap to catch your right foot. So I find that the strap equally gives you a good stretch. So you bring the strap on the ball of the foot, working the right shoulder straight, left hand, lengthen the spine, straighten the left leg, body upright, neck is long. All right. From here, I'll turn around and face you. If you have the strap or if you have the yogi toe, you can equally bring the right hip open, lengthen. Relax the shoulder as much as you can 
and try to relax the right shoulder. So equally, you can bring and hold, or you can put your leg against the wall. The key is to really open the leg. Eventually, we can use that stretch for our split, all right? You're gonna release the foot if it's forward, and then you're gonna bring your strap over behind you. Yeah, and you're gonna bend the knee. I'll attempt this with the strap. Begin to walk the strap, the hands towards the strap. You can see the back bend. Straighten the left leg, and then inhale, kick, and lift, and lengthen. I don't feel anything with the strap, so I have to go a little bit down and kick up. All right, so you got the gist. You can always flip your hand for those of you that advance and kick and dance. Notice short breath, has it changed? Inhale, release the right hand, right foot. Come back into mountain. Bend the knee into your chair pose. Exhale into your forward fold. Great work. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Step back, jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Finding that breath. Downward facing dog. So last time we tried a split. Let's try a split here. Left leg in between the hand. Bring your block, the tall side. You can double the edge of your right mat to come down. So bring your right knee on that padding you have on your right foot. I'm equally comfortable with the, without doubling my mat. So listen to your body. All right, straighten the left leg half split. So the block is on the long side. I want you to walk your left leg forward and then walk your right leg equally back. All right, stay here. Breathe in, breathe out. Hopefully, you can you can enjoy a, a, a full split. All right, you're gonna flip the block the, the short way or sort of the second layer and wiggle the right hip forward and the left hip back. Taking a breath here, don't force anything. You can see I've made a progress already. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Cha 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 cha. Cha 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 cha. Make sure you're breathing. Finding that length. Can you flatten out your block? Keeping that hip integrity. Cha 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 and cha. Keep standing, feeling that tallness in the spine. Finding that breath. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha. Maybe release the block from each side as you straighten the right leg. Come down. I'm not all the way down. I'm almost there. Breathe in. Square the hip. Left hip back, right hip forward. All right. Bend the left leg. Use the block. Push the right leg back and walk the hands inside the left leg. For those of you that are not able to bring your forearm on the mat, a block is a great way to come on your forearm. So you can use the block as a support. Keep the right knee off the mat. Lengthen, breathe into that right leg. Open the back body. A lot of work here, but you know, part of the split is also hip. Breathe in and out, releasing any tension. You can rock forward and back. And then slowly come back into the forearm. Take the left leg back. Stay, keep your hands on the block if you have it. If not, it's okay. Lengthen, finding that breath. Shoulder away from the ears. And breathe in and out. Inhale, step the right leg forward, same thing. You can bring the left knee down and then take a half split. I'm going to be on the long side because my right side is my dominant leg. 
yes, I'm a, I run, I love running as well. And then keep the left leg, keep going back. Keep the hips squared, facing the front of the mat. What does that look like? If you're facing me, you have just not been kind to your hip, but if you're facing forward, you can feel that hip doing like almost like a scissors. Continue to stay on the tall side, more lengthen, more come down. Breathe in and out. Can you come halfway? So I always focus on the front leg as opposed to the back leg. The reason is because the front leg can move, the back leg is my stability. More lengthen, more fold. Don't force anything. So just notice where your threshold is. I understand my right foot. So sometimes we, we talk and we smile. And allow yourself again to just lifting up. The block helps you to lift up. This is a tough pose. This is called Hana Manasana. It's called, it is named after the monkey deity in quest of love. So love is also tough. For those of you that know, loving is tough, yeah? So part of the hum hum humility is to find all these little knots in the body that is no longer serving us. Notice how I'm rolling forward and back and talking to that right hip. I'm saying, hey baby, you know I love you. You keep me going. Lengthen the spine once more and come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, lift on up. I'm not forcing anything. Yeah. Inhale up. Find that breath. Exhale. Release. And maybe the hands come up. Yes, it's a tough pose. It's called the Hana Manasana, the monkey deity. Long story. But in quest of love, the monkey deity stretched from Sri Lanka, according to the scriptures, all the way to India. In quest of love. Love, love, love. All right. How are you feeling? Are you comfortable? Bend the right leg. Scoop the left leg under. And more come forward. And take lizard pose on this side. The hip is like, ah, and eh, and ooh. You can rock forward and back. You can pop that block on your forearm if you don't need it. You can release the block. Nothing wrong with using the block. Just showing you how great it is to use the block in your practice again you can just use a stack of books that you no longer need they work they do work so lengthen find breath all right come back into this block and take the right leg back right leg back downward facing dog keep your hands on the block stretch out they give you an extra length on your shoulders taking a breath here now bend the knee if you still have the block you're good if not still good bend the knee and i want you to come and sit down step one you glide all the way and sit down it's called the jump through all right remove the block hug the knee and bring the right leg over to the left squeeze and hug lengthen left elbow outside of the right and twist shoulder away from the ears just allowing yourself all that work you did the monkey deity one is a challenging one so remind yourself wherever you are release the right left leg and the right leg now it's important to understand and love yourself Take that twist to the right side. And breathe in and out. So this is Yogi's choice. Uh, come, come into Malasana, we talk about it. And we're gonna practice our headstand. So use a block or pincha marasana. They kind of fall in the same family. All right, so I'm gonna hop on my knee how I started. You can hold the block if you're going for pincha. Shoulder stance is about, you can see that the block is about the shoulder, my shoulder width, a little bit shorter. 
So you can interlace the hand on the block, push into the forearm. The pincher and the, the, the headstand is all the same. Part of it is fear. So if you're going for headstand, the block is going to be behind your head. All right? Or you can use a wall. Okay. So right here, the block is behind my head. I'm still holding. Take a breath in, straighten out your legs. The important thing is here is the shoulders. Notice how I'm emphasizing my shoulders to be strong as I lift my legs up into my headstand. The block is behind my head, not behind my neck. So it gives me a bit of leverage and a bit of strength to straighten up my legs and lengthen the spine. So what is different between the pincher and the headstand? All right, so that was headstand. Hopefully you're able to see that. Um, it's a bit harder. Now the pincher, similar thing. The block is gonna be flatter on the mat. I'm gonna put my index finger on the block, yeah? You can see, on the block. You're gonna bring it down. And then my forearm is still doing the same thing. Make sure you're not slipping and sliding. Then inhale, lift the knee, same thing, same concept. And then inhale, bend one leg and scoop the right leg up or left leg up. And then push and come up with the right leg up to the sky. If you fall, come back in. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. And then straighten the left leg. Continue to squeeze that block in between the uh, thumb and index finger. Hug the belly in. Come back down. Child's pose. Let it go. Great work. So the block can serve a purpose here. You can bring the forehead on the block. And just bring your thighs and belly to rest. Elbow bent. Just breathe in and out, in and out. Just allowing the dust to settle from that inversion. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> I tell you, uh, there's so many lessons to learn. The inversion tip for the day helps to grow your hair. Long hair, don't care. All right, it's good to invert. Just think about the concept that you're standing most of the day. It's good to just, it's good for the brain cells, the hip. All right, we're gonna do a back bend. All right, so make sure you can tickle your heels, grab your block. All right, maybe if you have two or one, inhale, lift the hip, and insert that block on the knee ear, not on your bone bone, Finding that breath, so for me, this doesn't, I don't feel anything. I feel supported, all right? So make sure the block, you're not just going to go and the block slides, yeah? So you wanna be comfortable. So for those of you who are struggling with a back bend, this is a great one. For me, I feel nothing, nothing on my, on my back. So I might have to bring another block and lift one more since I'm not dumping my weights on it, I can run the block a little bit horizontally, then I feel something. But I gotta be careful that the one on the bottom doesn't slide off. Now I feel a bit of stretch. Make sure the neck is okay, your ponytail is okay. Feeling that release, especially if you're sitting in the office, this is a great pose. Don't let your knee go from Jerusalem to Jericho. Just stay, you know, uh, within the hip parameters. Lengthen the spine. I should say from UK to Hawaii or something of that nature. Take a breath in. Allow your hip to release. The hip is so great when it releases. All right. Remove the block on one side. Let your hip touch the mat. 
If you have the block, can you place the block underneath your feet? A great taste of balance and straighten out your leg. Only if you have the block. If not, just straighten out your leg. So that's a great balance. So, <laughs> all right. The, the block is quite light. Can you transfer the block just for fun on the left foot and release the right foot down? We're not talking about how straight the left foot is, but if it's straight, great. How are you feeling? Yeah? Just getting a nice stretch on the ankle. Bring the right foot to meet with the left. Can you wiggle the block as much as you can to the right foot and if it falls off, you can fix it. Off the right foot, I'm not doing a trick in Vegas and straighten the left leg, just straighten the right leg. Think about the half moon that we did. Take a breather here, the right leg is relaxing. Alright, bring the right leg to me with the left to remove the block and rest. Rest, rest, rest. Savasana. You can bring the sole of the feet together. And if you have that block, you can just drop it in the inner thigh. Just allowing gravity. Allowing your body. To rest. Shavasana is for you to rest and I will help you by um, playing a little bit of my rice stick here so you relax for a little bit you can also sit down with me if you like This is equally important to me. Come back to your normal breathing.
reaching the hands overhead, pointing your toes forward, lengthen the spine, feel lighter. Hug your knee towards your chest, roll over to the right side, and bring yourself to seated. Knowing that you can go back and lay down in Shavasana at any point in time. Inhale, reach the hands. If you're seated now, sit nice and tall. You can sit on your block. Reach the hand to the sky, lengthen the spine. And we take a gentle spinal twist to the right side. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. And we twist to the left side. Inhale, reach the hands all the way to the sky. Bring the hands in front of the heart. Bowing your chin towards your chest. Honoring that divine light. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for moving your body. Uh, thank you for wonderful teachers who have brought yoga to us here in the West. My heart is forever grateful. Thank you. Namaste. Warm up the hands, feel where you need it. I need a hug. <laughs> Sometimes I hug the trees. That's equally a hug. All right, open those hands wide and hug from me to you. All right, be well. Be full of abundance and love. Thank you. Happy November once again. I'll see all of you soon. All right, I hope it was all right. Okay, have a good weekend. Thank you, namaste, thank you. All right, everyone, thank you for showing up. Let me know how you get on. Did you like the inversions? You like the half splits? What was your favorite part? What are you struggling with? Leave the comments. Let me know how you get on. I will see all of you soon. Happy November. I hope you like the live classes and I'll see you once again. Thank you for subscribing. Some of you are still not subscribed. I'd like to see all your comments. Let me know. Was it challenging? Was it less challenging? Was it well, how was it? Let me know. That's only why I can know. So I'll see you in the next one. Be well. Have a great weekend. Thank you. All right. Great job, everyone. Okay. <laughs> All right, you cannot, I found it purely by chance, two minutes, oh dear. All right, I, okay, Lorena, is it Lorena? We will continue practicing the split, okay. Thank you for the live chat, I'll see you soon, be well.